fish out of the Wasatch Mountain. And we're ready for the second game of the second round action here at the D Event Center on the campus of Weber State University, where Weber State has been 12 times the Big Sky champions. The band of Missouri and the band of the Badgers of Wisconsin battling each other now. And in a few minutes' time, the Badgers will take on the Tigers of Missouri, number one seed in this West region. Hi, everybody. Tim Ryan with Ann Myers once again, our Hall of Famer here as we watch the second game of two. One of the uh, cheesehead teams eliminated, but not after a tough battle. Syracuse finally ousting Wisconsin Green Bay. Now this top-seeded Missouri team losing to Nebraska in their conference tournament, struggling against Navy. What's going on here? Well, they're really not shooting the ball very well. Last four games, they're shooting 40% or lower. And then their starters aren't playing well. We saw Norm Stewart pull all five starters out in the first uh, half against Navy, and they struggled. So the bench is going to be a key for them. Well, now, they haven't been shooting very well in this uh, in this last few games, uh, have the Tigers. On the other hand, they've got a great matchup here going with Javon Crudup against Rashad Griffith. Well, Crudup, a senior, feels that his quickness, he can play against Rashad Griffith. But Griffith is a big guy, and he really mobilizes the other centers for those other teams. So that's going to be a great matchup. Well, Crudup, the senior, of course, and Griffith of Wisconsin, the exciting young freshman, 6'11", from Chicago, Illinois. And we'll be back with a look at the opening lineups and the tip in a moment. Sports exclusive coverage of the second round of the NCAA Basketball Championship is sponsored by Honda, American Airlines, and by Reebok. Are your friends car guys? Car guys talk horsepower. They talk acceleration. They talk big, fat tires. Now, why not invite your pals over and give them something to really talk about? Introducing the four-wheel drive Passport from Honda. people would jump at the chance. Ten days in South America. But I've done this before. I knew better. This was business, and I was 5,000 miles from home. There was a lot at stake, and I was on my own, trying to keep my bearings, trying to negotiate, sometimes just trying to communicate. All the while, hoping to pull this whole thing off as soon as possible so I could head back. Objection. Six, seven million pesos to your bottom line over the next five years. Yeah, I'm sorry, honey. We're going to be another day. My father asked us. You know, it's funny, being away so long. When you come across something familiar, it can be a pretty welcome sight. Going home, Mr. Reynolds? I'm halfway there. We had a great relationship, and all of a sudden, it was over. Don't. Why did you break up with me? I really want to know that. Why? You embarrassed me in front of all of my friends. I'm embarrassing you in front of a nation. On the next Ricky Lake. Don't miss Ricky Lake, Monday afternoon at 3, then at 4. Michael Jackson, family, friends, and even Jackson's own private eye, under oath, on hard copy. Catch Ricky Lake, Monday afternoon at 3, then hard copy at 4, only here on KCTV5. If you have a breaking news tip, call the News 5 line by pressing star 5 on your cellular one phone. KCTV and the News 5 line in Kansas City. Five stands for news. This is the interesting thing about this basketball team. We don't have a true center. Javon is a four, and, and uh, we really don't have a three. We don't have a point guard. But they have figured out a way to win, and it has been an entire squad situation. I've had better teams. We've had better teams at Missouri but we haven't had any that has gotten more out of themselves than this ball club. Well, Norm Stewart couldn't have put it any better. 26 and three, only three defeats. 14 and 0 in the big eight this year. And for the Missouri Tigers, the forwards are Julian, uh, the forwards are Lamont Frazier and Kelly Thames, the outstanding freshman. The guards are Melvin Booker and Julian Winfield. And the center, although Norm Stewart says he isn't, Yvonne Kudup. For the Wisconsin Badgers, Michael Finley, will be joined at forward by Jeff Peterson, the guards of Tracy Webster, and Andy Kilbride, and the center, Rashard Griffith, this brilliant young freshman from Chicago, Illinois. Stu Jackson, in just his second year, 
Norm Stewart in his 27th year. The fifth among active coaches in terms of victories, more than 600 in the win column for Norm Stewart. That is number five among the active Division I coaches in college basketball. And we're underway with the Badgers in red. A record of 18 and 10. The Tigers 26 and 3 are in the white with gold and black print. It's important for the Badgers to start out quickly. They've the games that they have done very well in and they've won, they've started out scoring right away. Wisconsin ousted Cincinnati in the first round. Missouri, first and ball. Missouri struggled early against here. Navy, but His then went on to win handily. 23 points from the bench of Missouri when Norm Stewart made that early switch in the first half. It paid off, and in fact, they have averaged 23 points a game from their bench players all season long, so it was a big part of their game. Webster, the senior, and there's a foul off the ball. First of the game. And it goes to Crudup. Javon, Javon uh, Crudup, the senior from Kansas City. First and that's the key ball. right there. He's the one big guy Second that they have. Ball. Missouri, they've got a lot of players off the bench. Mark Atkins at 6'5 comes in, and they've got Chris Heller at 6'10, but Crudup is the guy they need in the game. Yeah, Peterson handling the ball from Mequon, Wisconsin. We were uh, corrected from some folks who live there in the first round game, calling it Mequon. It is Mequon, Wisconsin. A turnover to the Missouri Tigers. Thames, the freshman. Opens the story. Kelly Thames, 6'7", from Jennings, Missouri. Mr. Basketball in the state. High school. Finley from outside. That won't go. Peterson rebounding and retired at two. Good up-tempo game. Both teams like to score over 75 points. Webster picks up the foul. He thought he had made a clean block. Webster is guarding Melvin Booker, the big eight player of the year. And Webster maybe not as quick as Booker. Webster at six foot. Andy Kilbride, one of the best defensive players for Wisconsin. Boot up inside, throws up a half hook. Or to Missouri. Good pressure by Missouri. They're making somebody else the ball off besides Webster. Booker. Peterson did not want to be handling that ball on his end of the court. Good now they press deep here, two on one at the baseline. What he needs to do is just get it across the 10 second line. It's a man to man situation. Finley takes one dribble, doesn't go anywhere. Not a very smart move right there with the half court line. Missouri with a 6 2 lead. This is Griffith. And he's fouled by Crudup. His second. Well, Richard Griffith really bangs in coming in, trying to get position. And Crudup holding his own. Very upset about this second personal foul called on him. Just a lot of banging, really not a lot of contact. Maybe on the arms as far as going up. And Crudup is very upset about the call. His second personal, though. And we get to play two minutes. Jeff Peterson. At the free throw line, number Carlo Finner into the game. Griffin. See whether Wisconsin can take advantage of their height with Griffith down low. Carlo Finner, a 6'6 junior from Chicago, in for Crudup because of those two quick fouls. Griffith, a good free throw shooter. That's on the first. Over the course of the year, he's only 56%, but the last four games, he's shot 77% from the line. 12 of 14 from the free throw line in the first round victory. He said coming into the tournament, that's one thing he really wanted to concentrate and help his team at the free throw line. Well, he misses two here to start against Missouri. And it remains 6-2. Booker driving, and he hits Melvin Booker, the quick 6-2 senior from Moss Point, Mississippi. Great penetration by Melvin Booker. We did not see that in the game against Navy. He was very passive in that game and did not penetrate at all. Missouri starts off 4-4 four four from the field. Kilbride's three. In and out. Rebounded by Missouri. Booker. Finner driving. 
Connecting and picks up a foul. Chance for a three-point play for Marlo Finner. He's in there for Curta. Marlo Finner, a 6'6 junior, likes to penetrate. And that's where Missouri's beating Wisconsin right now is to the basket. In the preseason, I don't get out much. But come spring, there's nothing more relaxing than a little walk in the park. All men are created equal. Some just work harder in the preseason. This is the sports car no one could match. Not Acura, not Mazda, not even Porsche could answer our challenge to match Firebird's standard driver and passenger airbags, standard anti-lock brakes, and 275 horsepower engine for even twice the price of this new Firebird formula. Soon other sports cars will try to close the distance, and that's okay, but that will be then. This new Firebird is now. Topping thin crust pizzas just $12.99 plus three months of showtime free. It's a hot deal, it's a cool deal. A diamond knows I want it, I need it. Deal two medium, two topping thin crust pizzas just $12.99 plus three months of great entertainment on showtime free. Something for nothing when you call Diamond Nose. Coast to coast. In little towns and big cities in between. One cellular network has everyone talking. Cellular One. Clear across America. He was not the monster that the world made him out to be. It takes someone like that to believe the Holocaust never happened. 60 Minutes, Sunday. This is what Norm Stewart, the Missouri coach, has been afraid of. Slow out of the gate they have in the last four games, including the Navy game here in the tournament. Nine points, 27% shooting from the field in the first 10 minutes. Well, today, they are five of five from the field in a 10-2 lead. Binner missing the free throw, but he had scored on the basket. Webster and Kilbride, the starting guards for the Badgers. Finley, Kelly, and Griffith up front. Two keys for Wisconsin. Stu Jackson was saying that we have to rebound and play defense. We need to keep Missouri out of the lane and execute our offense. But they're missing a lot of shots right now. Finley got his own rebound, kicks it out to Kilbride. Kilbride, a free throw, three-point shooter. Uh, missing from there. Griffith right back from Kelly, and the basketball county foul. Well, I guess just get it to 611, 265, Rashard Griffith inside, but good offensive rebounding by Wisconsin. That's going to keep them in this game as rebounding, but Griffith goes down, a little contact by Booker from the back, and they call the foul. Well, some viewers watching us may be leaving momentarily to see the Texas-Michigan matchup, and you will be kept surprised of events here in Ogden, Utah, between Wisconsin and Missouri. 10-5 the score, 16-43. Remaining first half. Keep Ryan with Hall of Famer Ann Myers in Ogden, Utah. Booker at the front rim. Webster rebound. Webster for Kilbride in the corner. Michael Finley for three. Three point field goal. Michael Finley. He missed his first attempt. That one he hit. Finley averaging just under 20 points a game for the season. Finner. Underneath layup. Basket will count. And that's two on Griffith. Richard Griffith picks up his second personal foul. Jeff Peterson's going to come in for him. But the two big guys for each team 
Javon Crudup and Richard Griffin, both with two personal fouls. Stu Jackson will take Griffith out and send another big man into the lineup. Grant Johnson, a senior, is a seven-footer from Plymouth, Minnesota. Finner at the line has four points. Finner a 6-6 replacement for Crudup inside. And even though Finner is not a huge, I should say, tall person, he's very quick and he can take the outside shot. So defensively, that causes some problems for Wisconsin. Kelly. Deep in the corner for Webster. And Webster. Off the rim. Rebound. Knocked out of bounds, and it'll be Missouri ball. And Finner keeping Peterson off the boards. Baseline and that gets knocked out of bounds. It'll remain Tigers ball. Stu Jackson cheering his team on, and it's kind of a tough matchup, I think, more so for Wisconsin because of the guard perimeter play that Missouri likes to come in. They've got Olini out there now. A lot of outside shooters. No true post-up player, as Norm Stewart has said, especially with Kudup out. Three pointer from Booker. Seven points. Mention Paul Olinney, number 23, the guard, a junior from Pensacola, Florida. He was suspended from the first game by his coach, Norm Stewart, following a legal problem involving a little altercation late at night back in Columbia, Missouri. The coach sat him down the first game Missouri he was here. Foul, sat on the end of the bench out of uniform. They feel that uh, they've got the facts of that cleared up to Norm's satisfaction, and so Olinney in the lineup tonight. Thames picks up his first foul. And that was a key, too, I think, with Olenny not coming into the game. They were a little sluggish against Navy, but coming into the tournament, you can't lose any of these games, but Paul Olenny is a big boost as far as offense is concerned for the Tigers. 16-8 Missouri lead. Wisconsin with Webster, Kelly, Peterson, Finley, Kilbride in the lineup. Finner comes down with a loose ball. Finley getting some good shots, but not hitting. And Booker called for traveling as he dished off to Olenny. It's the kind of tempo that both teams like. Fast pace. Finley for three. The junior from Maywood, Illinois. Six points for him. 16-11 now, a five-point lead for the Tigers. Finner into traffic. Back outside, Olenny with it. Good patience by Missouri on their offense. Marlow Finner off the back rim. Kilbride rebounds for the Badgers. Junior guard off for Finley. Finley all alone for a three. Can't make it. Peterson rebounding. In traffic. He's fouled. Can't drop the basket. Kelly Thames on the ground. His second His personal. personal foul, number 33, Kelly Thames and Kruta both with two fouls Paul now. Number 13, Julian Winfield, replacing Lamont Frazier. Julian Winfield, Winfield. he only played 11 three. minutes in that last game Captain. against Navy. He hurt his ankle five games ago, a real bad sprain, and really has not been the same Julian player Roberts. since. 6'5", sophomore from St. Louis, a transfer from St. Louis University. He is the son of the assistant coach of Missouri, Lee Winfield. Peterson missing his first free throw attempt. There's uh, Javon Crudup behind coach Norm Stewart. 
been sitting down for almost five minutes now. Badgers one out of five from the free throw line. Well, the plus for Missouri is that they've been able to use their bench all season long. So in a situation like this in the tournament, they're not afraid to come in and, and give you quality minutes. Winfield, Booker in the backcourt now for Missouri. Lenny Atkins in the game. And Finner up front. They're going to call a foul. Tracy Webster on the arms to Jackson for playing, say, saying it was a pass and not a shot. Wisconsin personal foul, number 11, Tracy Webster. His second personal foul, the Warren King foul. Into the Wisconsin lineup, number 10, Darnell Hoskins, replacing Webster. At the free throw line from Missouri, number 15, Melvin Booker, shooting three. Booker goes to the line. Webster with his second foul, joining Griffith as two of the starters, each with two fouls here on the early going. That's really a situation for Missouri to take advantage of because Richard Griffith out of there, and Finner has come in and done an excellent job as far as his quickness. And as I mentioned, the subs play so much during the season for Missouri, they don't feel like they miss a beat. Booker makes it 19 to 11. Finley watched by Winfield. Darnell Hoskins. Missouri doing a good job on the boards. They try and get a break there, but Missouri has really controlled the defensive boards. Wisconsin cannot get in on in underneath and with Richard Griffith that big body out of there it makes a difference Peterson may be tall but he doesn't take up a lot of space Winfield for the Tigers Booker's turn around and he's fouled Hoskins picks it up Darnell Hoskins a freshman from Dayton Ohio that is the 15th hole. We see Booker coming down underneath, and then he'll pop back up off the screen, the double screen. He's wide open. He's inside the three-point range, but it'll be interesting to see how long Hoskins and Webster stay on Booker because Kilbride is one of their best defensive players. We saw him shut down Lizelle Durden of Cincinnati the other night. Booker makes it a 10-point lead, and he has 12 of their points. Roberts, Hoskins, Kilbride, Peterson, and Finley, the lineup for the Badgers now. And Booker picks up his second foul. First foul, number three, Mark Atkins. His first personal foul. Missouri with 17 fouls. fouls. Kilbride at the line with a one and one. At the free throw line, number 15, Andy Kilbride. Andy Kilbride, the junior from Kankakee, Illinois. Very good shooter. And shoot. the foul is on Atkins. Foul is on Atkins. 76% free throw shooter. Also can shoot the three pointer. In the last 14 games, he's had at least one three point shot made. 21 to 13. Atkins in traffic. Back outside, Alini driving, and Alini's there. Missouri pressing. And Hoskins dropped it up. Missouri really, Missouri really keeping the pressure up, not only offensively, they're penetrating, they're attacking, in the lane, Wisconsin having a tough time keeping them out of there and then setting up that trap, and Hoskins just really got out of control. 
two big men on the bench in foul trouble. Rashard Griffith for Wisconsin. Javon Crudup for Missouri. Two quick fouls in the early going. Neither has returned. Olini. Yes. The three. Five points for Olini. Well, if Missouri continues to keep hitting the boards and going inside, they can kick it outside, and there's another three-pointer for Kilbride his last 15 games. Ten-point margin, Missouri. The top seed here in the West. Wisconsin number nine. Badgers at 18 and 10 mark. At large entry out of the Big Ten. Booker nails it. Remember, the Badgers started the season 11 and 0, struggled near the end of the year, but got into the tournament and are trying to get things turned around again. They have one victory here in the second round, playing the number one seed. Well, this Missouri team, too, definitely a different ball club than we saw against Navy the other night. They're a lot more confident. They just feel they look more relaxed out there playing with each other. Julian Winfield committed the foul. That is the eighth team foul. The eighth team foul the against Missouri. Finley Wisconsin. will go to the line. Number 24, Michael Finley. Lamont Frazier ready to come in for the Tigers. Into the Missouri lineup. Number Winfield 22, will go out. Frazier, Frazier comes in, the senior from Charleston, Missouri. Replacing Julian Winfield. Michael Finley wearing number 24 because Doc Rivers went to the same high school. And he always wanted to wear number 24. Couldn't wear it in high school, but he's wearing it in college. Atkins. Lenny Booker. Travel against Finner. And we have a timeout at the 11-minute mark to go in the first half. Missouri 29, Wisconsin 16. Meet Greg and Nancy Wagner. They love to cut loose. Hey, come on. <laughs> Obviously, they got themselves a hot, fun-to-drive car. You got a Pontiac Grand Am. Exactly. A powerful new V6, sports suspension, a real blast. Hey, hey, the Grand Am also makes a lot of sense. It's solid, it's got an airbag and anti-lock brake, standard. Lots of room for the family. Yeah, for thousands less than a quarter camera. Yeah. So that fun Grand Am was also the smart car to buy? Can you beat that? Nope. We all drive in excitement, Pontiac. Last year, American business wasted over a billion dollars using the wrong long-distance company. Now there's a way to get that money back. Introducing MCI's billion-dollar stimulus plan for American business. Get all the savings from MCI's proof positive. Plus, we'll send you a check that doubles your savings every time you get a proof positive statement this year. Call us and put your money where it belongs. Back in your business. What do you get when you cross a high-quality conventional motor oil with an advanced formula synthetic? A revolutionary new oil that protects better than regular oils, yet costs 40% less than other synthetics. DuraBlend from Valvoline. People who know, use Valvoline. You have a 30-year mortgage. So shouldn't you have a 30-year faucet? Moen. Buy it for looks. Buy it for life. Here comes a new taste from the inventor of light beer. It's called Light Ice from Miller. It's 100% ice brew for a taste that's more of what you want. Definitely light for less of what you don't. Oh, what kind of beer is that? It's new Light Ice from Miller. Look who's living in Archie's house now. But love doesn't come with a compass. And it sure doesn't come with a color chart. Welcome back to 704 Housing. Premieres April 11th. Melvin Booker off to a great start again. 15 points already here in the first half. Four of six from the field. The Big 8 player of the year. And obviously the main man in moving the ball as well. With four straight seasons. More than 100 assists. I don't know how Norm Stewart can say they don't have a two-point guard, Melvin Booker. 29 to 16, Missouri in front of Wisconsin. Richard Griffith remains on the bench with two fouls. 
as a Javon Crudup, the big man inside for Missouri. Finley driving the baseline. Good follow by Jeff Peterson. Jeff Peterson. Well, Wisconsin trying to make something happen, go, happening, going inside and driving that baseline. Atkins over Finley for three. Darnell Hoskins, the freshman for Dayton, Stu Jackson's first recruit when he became head coach at Wisconsin. Dory rebounding, Frazier. Sutherland, the guard position number five now for Missouri. Jason Sutherland, a freshman from Watertown, South Dakota. Jaleel Roberts comes away with it for the Badgers. Another freshman with the guard position and a foul off the ball. Wisconsin personal bubble, number 10. Finley gets a chance to drive the baseline. They're trying to penetrate. Get the ball inside, and they have to hit the offensive boards. And Peterson is right there, but they come up with an offensive foul on the other end. Into the Wisconsin lineup. Hoskins picks up his second foul. Webster comes back in for Hoskins at guard for Wisconsin. Peterson takes over that center role. He's been there for part of the time here since Griffith went to the bench with two fouls. But Griffith is now on his feet. Steve Jackson's going to get him back in. Olinny driving, muscling his way in and throwing up the layup. 34 to 18, seven points for Olinny. Well, Missouri just keeps coming at you. They're attacking and attacking and doing a good job on the boards, too. Gilbride for a three pointer. 24-21. Lenny to the freshman Grimm. I make it to Peterson. Pardon me, Peterson, number 43. That was right the first time. Derek Grimm for Missouri. Number 42 in his first appearance. A freshman from Morton, Illinois. Webster. In the backcourt for the Badgers will quarterback this offense. This is what is going to help Wisconsin if they can keep hitting the offensive boards. Or hitting three-point shots. Reigns, another three. He's got nine points, all of them from outside three-point range. 34 to 24. Players on the floor, trying for the loose ball. Webster, Finley for the Badgers. They're going to call the foul on Mark Atkins, his second personal, but Paulo Linney really doesn't help matters by making a wraparound pass when he's that low. Number 54, Richard Griffith. He drives the baseline, and then he tries to wrap it around the defense right here. Tough pass to make, and comes up loose, and he's going to get called for the push. Into the zone line of number 15, Melvin Booker at the free throw line. back at the free throw line. I saw Michael Finley yesterday and talked to him and said, do you sing? He goes, well, yeah, a little bit. Does anybody ever tell you you look like Billy Ocean? He goes, yes, <laughs> but I'm not singing for you. <laughs> Ten points. And he makes it 11. Finley, 34 to 26. Griffith back in the lineup for the Badgers. Big freshman in the middle, number 54. Grimm. Rebounded by Booker. And Booker feeds Finner. Back to 10 for Missouri. Great pass inside from Booker. They're just getting so many opportunities, the Tigers. They're going to call a backing in foul on Richard Griffith. He just comes into the game, his third personal. And you'll see him sit the rest of the half, 7.52 left to go, and you wonder if he'll even get to start the second half. Ryan Kelly will come in for on the junior from Decatur, Georgia. 
You know, everybody had been talking about the matchup, and Javon Crudup would say, hey, he's a freshman. He's going to make a lot of mistakes. He's already in foul trouble. A lot of times, too, when you have a small player like Marlo Finner at 6'6", not intimidated by somebody at 6'11", he's a lot quicker and can get in position. Finner makes the first of his field goals on the one-on-one. -on -one. 17 fouls on Wisconsin. Nine on Missouri at this point. And Finner commonly makes two. And we have 7.52 remaining. Missouri 38 to 26. First half. The women's final four coming soon on CBS. This is what basketball used to be like. Now it's all fast breaks and slam dunks. Well, things change. Check out the Achieva Special Edition from Oldsmobile. With anti-lock brakes, airbag, air, automatic, and more. It's all running and gunning for just $13,995. Yeah, the Achieva Special Edition. It's a 360 slam dunk. It's your money. Mr. Gooden? That's right. Any relation to Dwight Gooden? <laughs> no, no. No, okay. Uh, do you have time for a couple of questions? Uh, short ones. Tell us about your HP LaserJet printer. My LaserJet? Yeah, what do you think about it? I don't. Ever? Uh, laser jets work. What's there to think about? But if you did? I don't. But if you did? Well, if I had to think about it, I probably wouldn't have one. But you do have one. No, I have two. Oh. Is that enough? Works for me. HP LaserJet printers. You do your job, we'll do ours. Good idea. Dean Witter believed in listening. Listen, not only to what our clients say, but what they mean. Each client has a level of comfort. Endeavor to find it. We measure success one investor at a time. For the first time, there's a saw that combines a 12-amp motor, dust collection, and an auto brake. So there's no limit to what you can build. Introducing the Quantum Circular Saw, new from Black & Decker. Did you reserve the car with Hertz? Not exactly, but it's a good deal. Are they as fast as Hertz? Not exactly, but what's the rush? We're on vacation! Dad, are we lost? Hertz gives you computerized directions. Honey, this is not exactly Hertz, okay? I hope they have the same emergency broken service as Hertz. Not exactly. In Rent-A-Car, there's Hertz, and there's not exactly. Make sure you choose the right one. Are you sure this is the way to the hotel? Not exactly. Did you hear that? You are watching the NCAA Basketball Championship on CBS. Well, Missouri leads by 12. The other game in action right now is in the Midwest in Michigan with a three-pop lead over Texas. Clark Kellogg, what's been the story in this game so far? In the Missouri game, obviously, they've been able to take the ball inside and get inside. And Wisconsin having a tough time being able to defend them on the perimeter. Melvin Booker has penetrated. They've knocked down some shots. And Rashard Griffith, the big fella for Wisconsin, has picked up his third foul already. And how about for Michigan here? Michigan is a, actually, they're just, you know what? Texas is the kind of team that plays a frenetic pace. They throw eight, nine, ten people at you. They want to play at 78 RPM. Michigan, I think, can play that way. But at the same time, Juwan Howard has been able to do some work in the paint area. There's Jawan Howard, follow-up, score the basket there for Ray Jackson and a five-point lead now for the Wolverines. Let's go back now, Missouri and Wisconsin, back to Tim and Ann. Thank you, Jim. Roberts is on the line for the Badgers of Wisconsin, and he hits to make it 38-27. We have 7.29 still to go here in the first half. Richard Griffith and Javon Crudup, the two big men, one on each team, are still on the bench in foul trouble. Hooker, long pass, nice try to keep it in. Von Frazier unable to do so. Stu, really bad your ball. Stu Jackson out of that timeout throwing a press after that made free throw. Tracy Webster, the point guard number 11, senior from Harvey, Illinois. Harvey, Illinois. With Tom Dreesen, the opening act for Frank Sinatra's club. <laughs> that's a little tidbit. All right. That's, that's a classic. Dreesen's a funny guy, too. 
his first personal foul. Binner picks up the foul. That's the tenth against Missouri. For Wisconsin, Brian Kelly will be at the free throw line. Shooting two. Kelly will have two shots. Brian Kelly's been coming off the bench for Wisconsin last five games. He hurt his game, he hurt his knee against Northwestern, and he had started 24 games in a row before he hurt his knee. Kelly connects. 38 to 29, seven minutes to go first half. Lenny, good quick feet for a good sized man. A good poise by Missouri not getting rattled on this time coming down. Lenny ran right head first into Brian Kelly. Ow! And Lenny gets it back. He's short. Foul called away from the ball. We call that on Peterson pushing, but yeah, Lenny went down. He looked like a, somebody, look a fullback coming right into the line. And he goes down. He really tells on his shot, too, when he came back. Said, oh! But good heads up play by keeping control, but he came back out and just shot nothing but air on that. Bill Bryant comes back in. Roberts goes out for Wisconsin. And Lauren Stewart as Finner, Frazier, Booker, Grimm, the freshman Derek Grimm, number 42, from Illinois. You know, coming in, Finner only averages just under three points a game, but in high school he averaged 30. It's a transfer out of UTEP, and really kind of, his shooting went down after he hurt his knee when he was in Texas, and he transferred. Lamont Frazier, the other Tiger on the floor. So both teams forced to substitute more than they'd like to, although Norm Stewart, of course, uses a deep roster. I tell you, that was a heads-up play by Melvin Booker. Almost tries to draw the charge on Andy Kilbride. He changes direction. Good defense right here. He gets back very quick, but Kilbride is the one that goes right into him, but their arms lock, and they call it on the defensive player. Booker, his second. Kilbride at the line. Ten point. Missouri lead, make it nine. Kilbride cuts the lead to eight. Officials in this game, Larry Limbo from Farmingdale, Long Island. Bob Donato from Media, Pennsylvania, and Carl Hess from Lynchburg, Virginia. Badgers pressing Kilbride, sticking right with Frazier. Now gets help from Webster. Frazier controls. Frazier with three red shirts on him. Back for Sutherland. His three point off the mark. Finley rebound. That's a big plus for Wisconsin on the defensive boards. Webster with room to shoot. 39 33. The lead kept to six. First basket for Webster. Wisconsin picking up the tempo a little bit as far as putting the pressure on the offense, making Frazier bring the ball up, but also getting some good rebounding. Bank shot from Finner connects. Well, Finner just a little bit quicker than Jeff Peterson at 6'10". Finner at 6'6". He takes the ball on the baseline and makes a nice little move on Peterson. Peterson does not stay down defensively and uses his shoulders. Jeff Peterson first. Finner at the line with 12 points to his credit. One of the bench players for the Tigers has paid off early here with Screwed up in foul Into trouble. Number 52, Ryan Johnson. Finner's getting a lot of playing time. He only averages eight and a half minutes a game in Missouri so far this season. Now, uh, Stu Jackson has the seven-footer Grant Johnson in the game, the senior from Plymouth, Minnesota. Finner hits to make it 42-33. Webster behind Johnson, won't drop. Booker rebounds. And Finner went down, gets up limping. A travel called. Good defense by Andy Kilbride. 
Frazier called for the travel. And Finner uh, limping back. See on defense, they're trying to rebound. Can't tell whether it's ankle or knee, but he went down. He's still in there. And now Norm Stewart wants to get somebody in for Finner. He's already played. Chris Heller, the senior center, number 41. Chris That's a lot of minutes for Finner, too. He's played 10 minutes already in this half. Yvonne Crudup uh, still on the bench with those two quick fouls early. Heller, a sometime starter from Kansas City. Finley in traffic. The ball stripped, but he's fouled. Good pass inside to Michael Finley, but Missouri really collapses well. They strip him of the ball, but he's going to go to the free throw line. His first personal ball. Finley's been the key guy for Wisconsin this year, their go-to guy. Finley averaging nearly 20 points a game coming into this one, Wisconsin, round number two of the tournament, and he's at the line with 11 points already here in the first half. 5.22 to play. He had four three-pointers in that game against Cincinnati already got three in this first half. A lot of people had asked Stu Jackson because being a pro coach whether it made a difference for his team to be able to prepare a little bit better for the next game because he got a day in between. He said it doesn't make any difference. And uh, he just gave Missouri all the credit in the world kind of trying to play a, a mind game a little bit. Missouri with Reggie Smith now at the point guard position, the senior from Myrtle Beach. Coming off an ankle injury, in fact, still wears a little brace on the left ankle. And Smith in traffic, pass off, and Heller lost control of it, the turnover grabbed by Finley. Well, they thought it was a travel, but it was a nice pass inside. Webster pulls up and won't drop for him, but he's fouled. Webster playing really good defense. Nice pass right here, but just cannot get a handle on it. And Heller comes up with a turnover, but he just couldn't handle the pass. Technical foul has been called on the Missouri bench. We're assuming on Stewart. Not sure what that's about, but Webster's going to come back to the line for Wisconsin. Well, the Tigers have really been controlling the tempo of this game, and now Wisconsin came out of that one timeout, and Stu Jackson put the press on and did a little bit better job on the defensive boards, and they're attacking inside, so maybe Norm Stewart can get his team going with this technical, but Webster pays off for Norm Stewart, missing those two free throws. And now Finley to shoot the technical. He gets one, and uh, as he shoots the second, let's go to Jim Gray. All right, Tim, Marlo Finner has gone into the dressing room for Missouri. He's being attended to right now by Ron Dubuque, the trainer for Missouri, as well as the orthopedist. He severely sprained his right ankle. They've taken the shoe off, taken the tape off. Right now, it's only 50-50 if he'll return. Timmy? Okay, well, that, of course, is a tough loss, Jim, because they've still got put up in foul trouble. Two quick early fouls. Well, they do have some good depth, as we have seen in this tournament and throughout the season from the Tigers. Marlo Finno came in, though, Tim, and really was a spark for those 10 minutes was playing well. 42 to 37, a five-point margin. Webster for three. Cuts it to two. Four sixteen to go. Stu Jackson having to shuffle his lineup without the depth of Missouri. And here he is now within two. Now called. 
Got to be frustrating for Richard Griffith sitting the bench. Griffith has only fouled out of two games this year, but he has been in foul trouble. Kilbride picked up that foul, their tenth of the half for Wisconsin, sending a lead to the line. Grant Johnson is in the center for Wisconsin. Kelly, Finley, Webster, and Kilbride, the rest of Stu Jackson's lineup. Four to 40, Missouri with 4.03 to go. Finley from three point range, no, well off the mark. Rebounded. Reggie Smith. Lenny Smith, Keller, Grimm. Frazier for the Tigers. This lineup with 3.33 on the clock. Turnover, the Badgers. Webster comes up with it. Kilbride for three. Rebounded by Frazier for Missouri. An up and down game, which is what both teams like, and Webster being called for the foul. Hey, oh, oh, Wisconsin personal foul, number 11. That's three Frazier for Webster. Webster. His third personal foul. Webster, the senior point guard, the top assist man, and averages nearly 11 points a game, so he's in trouble. The Badgers really can't afford to lose him. He handles the ball so well for them. Hoskins is going to come in. Pretty good ball handler, but as you said, Tim, he, with Webster going out of the game, the way he passes the ball to his teammates, they were just starting to get close. Hoskins, just a freshman out of Dayton, Ohio. You mentioned Stu Jackson's first recruit. Nine points for Olinney, and the Finner, apparently after some repairs, is back out there and in the lineup and got a quick, heavy tape job, we're told, by Jim Gray. You see him flexing there, trying to get the feel of it. Paul Olinney joining this team at the break. He was a walk-on, originally signed with Clemson, and then went to Pensacola Junior College, and he was an MVP in the national tournament. And then went to Connor State. Joseph Blackwell. 316 to go. Missouri with a six-point lead here in the first half. This is the award-winning Goodyear Aqua Track with its deep groove aqua channel. And this is the new Eagle Aqua Track for performance sedans. A wider performance tire with two aqua channels to sweep water away. Now you get the wet traction of a Goodyear Aqua Track and the performance of a Goodyear Eagle. One good turn deserves another. The new Eagle Aqua Tread, only from Goodyear. We say the best tires in the world have Goodyear written all over them. You know those credit card commercials where they tell you to jaunt off to some exotic paradise? This isn't one of them, okay? We're taking our MasterCard to the supermarket. How's that for exotic? Actually, I guess it is kind of exotic. I mean, you've got a MasterCard. They've got tropical fruit and crystal clear water, right? And now, no card is more accepted on the planet, including supermarkets. And it's smart to use your monthly statement to keep track of your grocery spending. I mean, the supermarket isn't exactly paradise, but at least you can drink the water. MasterCard. It's more than a credit card. It's smart money. So, does it ever get any easier? I don't think it's supposed to. It's a sophisticated flight simulator. But around here, we call it the box. Even though it doesn't fly, it's sure going to test how well you can. At American, we come here twice a year to get checked out. You know, I don't know of another airline that puts more emphasis on training. See you in six months. Well, I'll be back. But if you happen to be sitting behind me, Morning, ladies and gentlemen. I bet you'll agree. You aboard American airline. It's worth it. I hear you're the competitive type. No, but you might be surprised to find out that the Oldsmobile Cutlass Sierra Special Edition with anti-lock brakes, airbag, air conditioning, and more is over four grand less than the Ford Taurus GL. Which leads me to believe, shouldn't their saying be, have you priced a Ford lately? Yeah, about 4,000 worth. It's your money. Monday on The Late Show, Bill Cosby and singer Cheryl Crow. On the next day, we reunite Melanie Griffith and Don Johnson. <laughs> 
there's a drummer that uh, David Letterman and his band would appreciate having there. It looks like he's been up all night training. The Badgers. The no Badger, the Badgers. He has a drum commensurate with his size, that young man. 46 to 40. Missouri on top, so they'll have to beat the drums a little louder for the Badgers. There's a steal. Ball knocked away from Johnson. And Johnson Missouri with the ball. Johnson at 7-2 has the height, but not the strength. Turns into a three-point turnover. 49 to 40. Missouri with three minutes left in the half. 15 points for Olinny. And Wisconsin gave up three tough points in that situation near the end of this first half. Good drive by Finley. 17 points for Michael Finley. Finner, Olinny, Frazier, Reggie Smith, and, and uh, Grimm, the lineup for Missouri Tigers. None of them starters. And Grimm, the freshman, nails it. Good patience by Missouri. Did not panic. Good passing. Constantly moving on their offense. 51 to 42. Kelly pushed away by Grimm. Missed the shot, but he'll go to the line. Second foul on Grimm. We're going to see Finley penetrating, and he gets a quick shot off the glass. That's a tough angle to use that glass, and then he comes back on the other end, and when they get the ball, he makes a nice pass inside to, to Brian Kelly, who's going to go to the free throw line. Atkins returns for the Tigers. Finner goes off limping and will go right to the locker room at 1.49 to go. Gave it a good game effort with that sore ankle. Kelly at the line. Brian Kelly, the junior from Decatur, Georgia. Fifty-one forty-three. You know, the key right now, too, Tim, on these two teams has been the subs and how they have performed, and right now it's been Missouri. Reggie Smith around Hoskins. Off for Grimm. Well, three seconds. They're going to call Can't three seconds, but Grimm had the play. It was a great pass inside, and he puts it on the floor. If he doesn't put it on the floor, he's got an easy basket. Freshman mistake by Derek Grimm, facing the seven-footer Grant Johnson. Hoskins to Kilbride. He's double teamed immediately. Back for Hoskins. Finley trying to go baseline. His foul before he started his move. Missouri personal foul number 22. Lamont Frazier. Frazier picks up the foul for the Tigers. The thing what happens too when you've got such a deep bench, you've got a lot of fouls to give, and that's what Missouri is exactly they're doing. Even though like a player Crudup is on the bench, their big guy, the other guys have come in and they've got so many fouls to give that it really doesn't affect them. They're not losing anything at the positions they have. Jason Sutherland comes in for Frazier. Freshman guard from South Dakota. Fifty-one forty-four. Wisconsin still within striking distance. One eleven to go in the half. Eighteen points now for Michael Finley. Six-point margin. Smith and Sutherland in the backcourt for Missouri. Atkins, Olinny, and Grimm up front. This is Olinny. Smith had nowhere to go. Well, 
Boy, is that a big play for Wisconsin. Grant Johnson stepping in to clog up the middle. And they get the charge. Forty-one seconds, and the Badgers will play for the last shot here. Fifty-one to forty-five, down by six. Hoskins for Kilbride. Kilbride looks like he's measuring the three behind Johnson. Fourteen seconds on the shot clock. Well, Finley was passing, but they're going to call it on the shot. Missouri personal foul number four, Reggie Smith. Reggie Smith picked third, up the foul. foul. 19 seconds left. The two guys that are really scoring right now for Michael Wisconsin Miller, have been Finley and Kilbride, Kilbride is the other guy that you have to look to as far as two an offensive two. threat. On the other two side, the Tigers Atlanta. have a bunch of guys that number can 15, score. Melvin Booker. Replacing Jason Sutherland. Finley will be at the line, a 77% free throw shooter. The junior okay, from Maywood, Illinois. Shots, two shots. 19 seconds left to go in this first half, and Norm Stewart putting Melvin Booker back in with two personal fouls. Offensively, see if he can create something. Finley has 20 points already in his first half. Career high is 34. They get 21 and a four-point Missouri lead. Scrappy Badgers playing right now like their namesake. Taking on the mighty Tigers, the number one seed. And so a big play by Booker coming up with a three-pointer after the Badgers had closed the margin of four. Booker connects with a three-point shot to make it a seven-point lead for the top-seeded Missouri Tigers at 26-3 on the year. They've lost only to Arkansas, Notre Dame, and Nebraska in that Big Eight tournament final. So at the end of the first half, Missouri 54, Wisconsin 47. Jim Nance and Clark Kellogg will be along with Pennzoil at the half after these messages. CBS Sports exclusive coverage of the second round of the NCAA Basketball Championship is sponsored by Oldsmobile, MasterCard, and by Goodyear Tires. In some ways, picking the winner of this championship is like buying a new car. So many to choose from, but how do you know for sure? Well, we were thinking more like some independent test results, which showed that the Oldsmobile 88 LSS ran neck and neck for 100,000 miles with the Acura Legend L and Lexus ES300. We said it'd be an easy decision. It's your money. I started college with a basketball scholarship. I thought nothing could stop me. But one night I did get stopped. What I learned is that drinking less than everybody else doesn't make you a designated driver. The bad news is I lost my license and my scholarship. The good news is I found a job to help with tuition. Hard part is all this is over. This is CBS. Hey, the Miss Perfect pageant. Yeah. Miss Perfect. We're watching hockey. Magic. Hockey. Let's watch both. Miller Lite presents the Miss Perfect face-off. Okay, Bob, Miss Georgia goes to the corner. She pays the price. Here's the puck coming loose. Nice shot. She scores! Brought to you by Miller Lite. If you can combine great taste and less spilling, you can combine anything. Oh, that'll be sashing two minutes for Miss Congeniality. That tall. Good beer. Great taste, less filling. Can your beer do this? Now, just 10 minutes south of Kansas City, the future of Mazda buying has arrived. Quality Mazda, the outlet. One place. Acres of cars and trucks. Every style, every color, every combination. 
the outlet inventory. The outlet price. Get a 94 B2300 truck for only $109 a month. 94 Protégé, only $109 a month. 94 626, only $199 down or $199 a month. Best selection, best price. Now there's one way to be sure. Quality Mazda in the Olesa Auto Plaza. The outlet. CBS Sports presents Pennzoil at the Half, sponsored by Pennzoil, the motor oil you can rely on for performance, protection, and quality. All right, Clark, it's a seven-point lead for Missouri at halftime. We're going to have all the scores and highlights from second round Saturday. They've just gone to the half with Michigan up five over Texas. We'll get to all the scores and highlights when we continue in just a moment. So stay with us on the road to the Final Four, right here on CBS. Point play could get you to the final four. Game cards are inside specially marked cases of Pennzoil motor oil. Or will you get your oil changed professionally with Pennzoil? Scratch, match, and win one of four trips for two to the final four in 94 or 95. Or any of 10,000 other prizes. What a slam fest this is going to be. So fans, get your Pennzoil now and... you got the winning color. They say money will buy more in the new millennium. They say luxury will endure in the new millennium. They even say a car that competes with Lexus and Mercedes can be priced from $26,000 when you're not asked to pay for a luxury division and all that overhead. The new $26,000 millennium from Mazda. I had no idea when I started officiating basketball that this particular level even existed. The first night that I walked out to do a college basketball game, I guess I had a um, slight fear. And at the same time, I was as anxious as the ball players were in terms of getting the game started. Most spectators and fans are watching the ball. And we're trained as basketball officials 99% of the time. In order to referee the game of basketball, you must referee the defense. Every now and then, during the game, um, there's going to be a call, a very close call. And it can go one way or the other. And when you make that call, you have to make that call with strength. Um, you have to make that call with authority. When you make the call, you want to make everybody understand that I've got the call, I saw the call, this is the correct call, and this is the way that we're basically going with it. This message provided by the NCAA. Marlo Thomas, Mel Harris, and Ali Sheedy. My dad did unspeakable things to us. Sisters face their past and expose the ultimate betrayal someday. Welcome back to New York, everybody. Pennzoil at the half. Jim Nance, Clark Kellogg. These are the 39th and 40th games into the tournament. Two games at the half. Still waiting for that elusive buzzer beater. It has not arrived so far. Well, I tell you what, Jim, you probably ought not hold your breath. I don't know if we're going to have one. You got lucky a couple years ago. We saw a bunch of them, but I don't know if that's going to happen this year. We do have a Cinderella, however. Mm -hmm. Maryland knocking out UMass. Let's go through the scores and the highlights for you. Halftime in Wichita, Michigan leads. Over Texas, 41-36. The winner here will play Maryland in Dallas on Friday. And uh, what's been the story in this game, Clark, with uh, Michigan up by five? Well, Michigan, Juwan Howard is doing yeoman's work in the paint area. He's got 19 points, 11 boards. Will soon join the 2010 club in that game. Just dominating inside, but yet they're only up by five points. He continues to be maybe the most underrated player in all of college basketball, Juwan Howard. Very sound fundamentally in the paint. No question. Also, now, this is an Ogden, a game at the half. Missouri leads over Wisconsin 54 to 47. And uh, quickly, Clark, what's the story in this game with the Badgers up seven? It's a battle of backcourts. Missouri actually got off to the quick start. Melvin Booker has 18 points, knocked down the three, and Missouri on top by seven. All right, fasten your seatbelt. Let's race through the scores and highlights. This is from earlier today. There it is. Maryland, the 10 seed in the Midwest over the two seed UMass. The Minutemen are headed home. And uh, here's one reason why. Dwayne Simpkins bangs in the three, and then off his miss, Joe Smith throws it down. He had 22. Freshman coming up big in this tournament. 22 for Smith today. Watch this one. Freshman at the other end. Marcus Camby riding the escalator. <laughs> All the way to the cup. He had 32 and 10 boards. 
Mario Lucas did a nice job for Maryland knocking in that jumper there. But Maryland made eight out of 10 three-pointers for the game, and they go on to victory there by eight, knocking out the number two seed. Okay, now in the West today, Syracuse against Wisconsin, Green Bay. Syracuse had a 16-point lead, evaporate down to one against the Fighting Phoenix. And what was the story here, Clark? Well, actually, Syracuse able to just use their size. Here you see the defense and then the transition at the other end. That's John Wallace to the rack with the punch. Get pumped up. <laughs> And there's Dick Bennett, his team. Here's the run we talked about, uh, Clark. Jeff Norgard knocks down the jumper. Wisconsin Green Bay only down by four at that point. And they got within one, but then a big-time move right here. Adrian Autry in the lane. The leaner drops. And Green Bay goes the final 255 without making a shot from the field. So uh, Syracuse advances on now to the regional in Los Angeles. Okay, Florida against Pennsylvania. This was a close game throughout, and then Penn just kind of disintegrated in the end. There's Lon Kruger. 27 wins, a school record for the Gators here, Clark. Jerome Allen knocks down the three. Pennsylvania struggled shooting, though, only 8 of 37. Spin move here. That's Dan Cross with the sweet finger roll. He had 22 for the Gators. In Florida, then, with a late 8-0 run, Craig Brown hit a couple of threes. In fact, Penn in the final six minutes made only two shots from the field, and Florida now advances on to Miami. Friday night, Florida will play against UConn, so a 2-3 matchup there. UConn victorious today over George Washington, as Danielle Marshall had 20 points and 9 rebounds. Also, Rupp Arena, Lexington, Kentucky, Kansas over Wake Forest. Another tight game, another team not getting it done in the final minutes as uh, Wake was outscored 21-9 to end the game as the Jayhawks uh, really uh, took control there and Wake with only two field goals in the final nine minutes of that ball game. Next up for Kansas at the regional will be Purdue, the number one seed with an 83-73 triumph over Alabama. Glenn Robinson had 33 points and 11 rebounds. You know, tomorrow, as we complete the second round, Indiana will play Temple. And as Leslie Visser reports, it's a matchup of two coaches who dominate the headlines the way their teams dominate opponents. For the first time in 59 years, two of the legendary programs in college basketball will finally meet. The matchup zone defense against the motion offense. Winner take all to the Sweet 16. I think we are very much alike in what we do in terms of structure team is one where uh, they are fundamentally sound and there's no guesswork about where they're going to be on the court. You've got to be aggressive in attacking the zone and we'll have to be very aggressive in attacking um, their zone. If you don't attack it aggressively, you just are not going to create any openings. This game has all the elements. No, not just great defense and excellent shooting from the field. It has all the drama of Bob Knight and John Chaney. Temple and Indiana, our own bonfire of the vanities. Both coaches are emotional and passionate, and they never fail to command the attention of fans, officials, and of course, their players. If you were to talk to the kids from Indiana, what do you think you might ask them about Bobby Knight, and what might you tell them about John Chaney? I, I just, I probably would say, um, is, is there, is he as crazy as um, you see on TV? And um, they probably would ask me, what about John Chaney? I was like, hey, this man is a maniac. I know it's going to be a lot of hollering and screaming out there, and the referees going to be shaking in their suits. But I don't think that it's going to be any more uh, uh, emotional than it will be with most coaches. I, I think that uh, um, you watch coaches and, and you watch uh, uh, sidelines, uh, what you end up doing is missing the hell of a game. You'd think that after a combined 51 years in coaching, these two men would have gone head-to-head -head on the hardwood before, and it looms as an enormous challenge for both. They're going to present a lot of big problems for us because they're so sound fundamentally. While not many people would confuse the two, John Chaney sees a little bit of himself in the man from the Midwest. <laughs> many letters have come in recently calling me the black man, but uh, nevertheless, I, I respect him highly. He's truly one of the mainstays in, in basketball, and uh, certainly uh, deservedly so. Well, you heard Eddie Jones call his coach a maniac, but, you know, there's really, don't mistake it, folks, a lot of love by the players to each of their coaches. Yeah, when you think about those two coaches, you think about passionate people, and they're certainly excellent basketball coaches, and I'll, I'm sure we'll see that passion on the floor tomorrow between both teams. Can't wait for this game. In fact, this will start off triple header Sunday for you, 12 o'clock Eastern time. It all gets underway. The whole nation will get this one. Indiana against Temple. Tip time there. Mark it down is 12:15 Eastern. And then that'll be followed by uh, four games. The 
main game to the nation, Boston College against North Carolina. That's the headliner. Then the third set, tipping around 440, Georgetown against Arkansas. By the end of tomorrow, we'll be down to that complete Sweet 16. One other thing, though, really impressive in this tournament, the play of some freshmen. Yeah, there have been some outstanding freshman players. Joe Smith and Keith Booth, obviously, of Maryland. You talk Ray Allen, Doran Sheffer at UConn. You also have to talk about the couple of big fellas at Arkansas, Wilson and Darnell Robinson. So this is certainly a tournament where we've seen some outstanding play from some freshmen. All right, again, I'm still looking for that buzzer beater. Two games to go here on Quadruple Header Saturday. Second half coming up next. We'll get you back to your games. Thanks for watching. Pennzoil at the half right here on the road to the Final Four. Pennzoil at the half was sponsored by Pennzoil, the motor oil you can rely on for performance, protection, and quality. Open the door. Check under the hood. Because now's the time to get to your Toyota dealer and get to quality. Toyota's March sales event is on, and it features Corolla with big factory-to-dealer incentives, option package savings, and a $179 lease plan that can make Corolla more affordable than ever. Corolla, Toyota's benchmark of quality for 25 years. Now with a great selection and great deals. But hurry, this special sales event ends April 5th. A veteran cop. Give him hell, trap. You got the ball. A young detective. This department cannot tolerate lone wolf shoot from the hip commandos. Absolutely. With his own way of breaking a case. You're protecting him because he's your grandson. Fire him or support him. Or else. Or else I'm going to tip your desk over on you. An uneasy alliance. He's kind of living in the shadow around here. Two generations of cops with one thing in common. Those traps, no doubt about it. March 31st. Get set for traps. This is CBS. Only one truck has outsold every other make for 17 straight years. Only one truck offers a super cab with a standard driver's side airbag. Only one truck offers free 24-hour roadside assistance. And only one truck comes loaded with all this equipment and a special lease rate of just $2.69 a month for 24 months with $500 down. Ford F-Series, the one and only truck for serious truck drivers. And just one more reason why Ford is the truck authority. I just put it together. It took about an hour and a half one Sunday afternoon, and it's been in constant use since. Bill Shepard is the kind of farmer who likes to figure things out for himself. We call it the country cruiser. Whether it's inventing an all-terrain farm stroller or controlling his weeds. So he goes with classic, pinnacle, and sure too. Uses one, two, or all three, and designs his own post-soybean program. And it's worked out real well. Classic, pinnacle, and sure too. What makes them better is you. Weber State in Ogden, Utah, the D Event Center with a score Wisconsin 47, the Missouri Tigers 54. That is their highest scoring half of the season. They had 53 at Oklahoma. And for a halftime report, let's go to Jim Gray. All right, Tim, thank you very much. Spoke to Wisconsin coach Stu Jackson. He says we're not getting any penetration offensively and defensively. We're going to have to deny Melvin Booker the ball. Now, as for Missouri, Coach Mark Stewart told me the plaintiffs simply have to stop fouling. If we stop fouling, we'll win this game. As for Melvin Center, who went out twice with a bad right ankle, they taped it up again at halftime, and Coach Stewart does not believe that he's going to be able to play. He may put him in for a minute or two, but doesn't think he can get through the half. Tim? Thank you, Jim. 29 fouls in that first half, 18 against Missouri, 11 against Wisconsin. It interrupted the rhythm, but not the scoring. As we said, Missouri has not scored this many points in a half this year, 54 to 47. And the two things, Missouri has struggled from the floor. They're shooting 65% in this game, and now Kilbride goes down, and also the bench. 32 points off the bench in the first half for the Tigers. Booker opens the scoring for Missouri. He closed the half with a three-pointer after Wisconsin had made a little bit of a run. It was Booker for three, and now he opens with two more. Kilbride goes limping back into the backcourt of Wisconsin. And it's brought up by Webster. So Webster and Kilbride in the backcourt. Richard Griffith, the starter, is back in the lineup. He went out with two personal fouls in the first minute of play. The big freshman, a key man for Wisconsin, Hugh Jackson's going to have to gamble. Finley been the main man for Wisconsin. 23 points for him now. 56 to 49. Frazier, Booker. Keep it 
And that is Winfield. Julian Winfield. He's coming out, we'll see if both teams go inside to their big guys. Remember, Rashard Griffith has three personal fouls, can't afford to get a fourth quickly. Silly situation right there for him to even try and attempt to come up with a steal. Devon could have been the lineup starting the second half for Missouri. He was also down early with two fouls. He sat out the remainder of the half. That basket by Winfield, his first basket. He almost got the five games. feeling in the first half that Missouri didn't need Kelly Thames or Javon Crudup, or Wisconsin needed Richard. Kilbride on a two-on-one. I shouldn't say need, but the Tigers did a pretty good job with their bench. Well, the fact is the Badgers don't have as good a bench as Missouri. They're no disputing that, even though they've had to use a lot of them. Crudup. Four points for Crudup. Senior 6'9 from Kansas City hitting from outside. Kilbride, the junior guard for the Badgers. Michael Finley turned back by Thames. Hooker and Crudup going after that ball and kind of knocking it off each other, but good hustle by the Tigers. Kelly comes in from Wisconsin. Olenny comes in for Missouri. Finley will inbound it. Goes out to the big man, Richard Griffith. Griffith trying to fight his way in under the basket, and the hold is going to be called against Crudup. They had two bodies on Griffith, and well, Crudup Thames. felt he was just holding his line there. But well, Thames is in his way, and Griffith ran right into Thames. So I, Griffith was lucky he didn't get called for a foul, and Crudup felt that he was just holding his position. He doesn't want to come out of the game. He's telling Norm Stewart, "No, sit him down." Good pass. Nailed by Webster. 60 to 54. Winfield inside the critical foul by Griffin. Four on him. Nice move by Javon Crudup getting the posting up, posting up. He comes across the key. Nice bounce pass inside, and he steps. It looks like Richard Griffith gets all ball, but they call him for the grab because he's hitting down. It just the thing is with Richard Griffith, you don't pick up silly fouls, you don't reach, you play position defense. You don't take yourself out of the game because it doesn't help your teammates. Well, that's the freshman. Still learning that lesson. He had 22 points against Cincinnati, 15 rebounds. He was 12 of 14 from the free throw line, but has been no factor here because of foul trouble. And another foul by Wisconsin. Andy Kilbride picking up his second personal. Having Griffith on the bench is going to be a real blow to Wisconsin. Judging by the first half, Missouri can win this game without their top big man, Crudup. But the same likely can't be said of Wisconsin. We'll find out. 17.06 still to go. Webster hits his 10 points. Most of the offense has been coming from Michael Finley and Andy Kilbride, so the other players have to get involved. Kilbride trying to take a foul and Booker. just basically fell down when Booker made contact. The officials are not looking for it, and Booker makes a nice three-pointer. 26 points for Booker. Melvin Booker, the senior from Moss Point, Mississippi, Big Eight Player of the Year, showing his stuff. It'll be Missouri ball. Trudup, Thames, Winfield, Booker, and O'Linney, four of the original starters, with the exception of one for Missouri, Lamont Frazier, replaced by O'Linney. This lineup on the floor. Johnson is in there for Griffith for Wisconsin. And Finley hits another 25 points for him. Thames runs 
runs into Johnson. Johnson picking up the penalty on the drive by Thane. Kelly Thane makes a nice little pump fake right there and body contact and where the, the foul is called, Johnson kind of sticks out his hip a little bit. At the free throw line, number 33, Kelly Thames, shooting two. Kelly Thames has just two points because he went out early with foul problems. He scored the opening two points. And this is his first opportunity since then, missing the first free throw. At 17 against Navy in the first round action. Thames, a really fluid player. He says he likes to pattern his game after Scotty Pippen, but his role model has been his big brother, Barry. So he talks to him almost after every game. This student, too, a 3.9 GPA in high school. Kelly Thames from Jennings, Missouri. Six minutes, uh, 16 minutes, pardon me. Webster off the front iron. Rebounded by Olenny. The kind of shots that Wisconsin is getting look like they're being forced. They're trying to get things in the lane, as Jim Gray had alluded to, that Steve Jackson was talking about. Big block by Grant Johnson right there. But Johnson really, controls. But they've been forcing a lot of shots. We have 15:31 remaining in regulation time. Missouri 66 to 58. The women's final four coming soon on CBS. Genuine jockey. Quality, real fit. No wonder guys feel comfortable with jockey. Genuine jockey. Hard to tell, could be any pickup, but how many compact pickups hold this much? Have a bed with two tier loading and a tailgate this easy to deal with. You could say it's the most intelligent pickup of its kind, except there doesn't appear to be another pickup of its kind. The Chevy S-Series, so new from the inside out. Everything else is history. Sure, you've got a car. Got a dog. Even got some fun-loving friends. But have you got what it takes to be a mountain man? All it really takes are the two cool beers of the mountain man. Smooth bush beer and easy drinking bush light. So, be a mountain man. All you gotta do is head for the mountains. A greedy developer targets a historic landmark. You're a dead man. Can Jessica keep it from being destroyed? That's it. Murder, she wrote. Then, three stars as TV Guide and A, Entertainment Weekly. My dad did unspeakable things to us. Based on the true story, Ultimate Betrayal, Sunday, parental discretion advised. CBS Sports exclusive coverage of the second round of the NCAA Basketball Championship is sponsored by the new Chevy S-Series, Bush Beer, and by Jockey. Tim Ryan with Ann Myers here in Ogden, Utah, Missouri, leading 66-58 to over the Badgers of Wisconsin, number one against number nine. Elvin Booker leading the way for Missouri, eight of ten from the field, 26 points. And he's got five three-pointers in this game. Most he has ever had in the game, and he's still got more time remaining, 15-13 to go. Missouri really looking to get the ball inside, penetrator, get it to Kudo. Travel called on Olinny. That possession really, Melvin Booker kind of took a lot of time off the clock, dribbling up top and then bringing it to the left side, but they didn't really start the offense until about 15 seconds to go on the shot clock. Webster, Kelly, Johnson, Kilbride, 
and Finley, the lineup for the Badgers. Richard Griffith back on the bench with four fouls. Webster looking to get the ball to Michael Finley. Finally got a pick open. Finley for three. 66-61, the Badgers hang in. The shooting of Finley, 28 points for him. Johnson called for pushing Crudup. Wisconsin personal foul, number four, Brian Kelly. There's Wisconsin Richard Griffith, only three points ball. in this and game in the eight minutes. That's all he's been able to play with two quick fouls early. And then two more since then. Kelly picked up the last foul for Wisconsin. Here you see Johnson in the middle and a little hang time by Booker, but Johnson right there to block it and the possession arrow goes to Wisconsin. Another foul on Brian Kelly. He's trying to set a pick to open Michael Finley up. And see, he goes down, Wisconsin splits away. Personal foul number four, Brian Kelly. His second personal foul, the full team foul. Four on shiver, you call that in football. <laughs> and he shivered some timbers there. 66 61. Five point margin. Missouri with 18 fouls in the first half. They haven't had the same problems so far here in the second. And Johnson may have picked up another one. Good ball movement by the Tigers. Booker trying to drive the baseline and Johnson helping out. There's nothing there and they bring it back out and right inside the Crudup. 16 foul on Wisconsin. And Kilbride's going to get well, called for the foul. Grabbing go. Thames leg. They're going to call intentional foul on Kilbride because he grabbed his arms around Thames. But Thames went down on him swinging. Kilbride thought that Thames was stepping on him, and that he should have been fouled. Kilbride responded by grabbing him, and then that, of course, angered Thames, and he got a little knee on Kilbride, but Kilbride's going to get the foul. You see this Watch right him. side of your screen, he's coming around, and Thames is basically holding him. They knock him down, and so Kilbride just hangs on to him. You kind of see Thames swinging around but they missed the call up top when Kilbride's trying to get through. So they, Kilbride goes to the Wisconsin bench and has words from the coaching staff calm him down. He's one of their leaders. They need him on the floor. He's a junior. Andy Kilbride from Kankakee, Illinois. Thames will be at the line alone in a technical foul situation. Now Wisconsin at the free throw line for Missouri. Number 23, Paul Olenny. Well, now it's Olenny. Olenny's going to shoot two, two. Two. two here. Well, the assistant coach for Wisconsin is saying something about three. And Stu Jackson upset because he doesn't want him to get a technical. Lenny gets one of two. And Thames, who appeared to be the player fouled, is uh, not to get to the line. Crudup. And that was the argument, saying that Thames should have been at the free throw line, not Olenny. And then 33, who was the man involved with a 23, Olenny wound up shooting. Webster with a breakaway. 67-63. The Badgers just hanging in here. Four points back. 12 points for him. Lenny short. More fouls. Johnson again. That's his third. That is the eighth team foul. Tracy Webster getting his hand in there with the steal. And coming 
came down with the layup. It's a big defensive play for the Badgers. Jeff Peterson will come in for Grant Johnson. They've got three big men. Griffith with four fouls on the bench. Grant Johnson, a senior now, has three. Peterson, who normally plays forward at 6'10", will come in and play center as he did earlier in the game when Griffith went out with foul trouble early. 16 points for Olinney. Here's the young man who was suspended by Coach Norm Stewart from the first game of this tournament. One of their key reserves has got 17 points in this game. 69-63. a little slow setting up their offense. Finley trying for three. Thames rebounding. Badger's only getting one shot at the basket. That is going to hurt them in the long run. Especially when they're being taken from the perimeter. Shot clock, a three-pointer from Booker. He is hot, 29 points. Well, we sure didn't see that against Navy. Booker looked like he was in quicksand in that game. He had 17 points, but only three in the first half. Complete different player in this game. Pushing foul on Thames. Booker has six three-pointers, the most he's ever had in a game. The senior from Lost Point, Mississippi. Mark Atkins coming in from Missouri. Thames going out. Freshman Kelly Thames. It's their personal foul, the second team foul. Well, the way Booker's shooting the ball, too. His career high is 32 points against Kansas. Peterson won't drop for him. Roberts with a follow. He missed it. Peterson again, and it's taken away by Olenny. Atkins, and it's taken away from him by Finley. Two on two. Finley short with his layup. It'll be Wisconsin ball with a timeout. 11.51 remaining in the second half. Missouri 72, Wisconsin 63. Today in America, over 11,000 babies will be born. 2.6 million people will go to the movies. 5 million parents will drop their kids off at daycare. And 36 million of us will get where we need to go in a Chevrolet. Think about it. 36 million. It's just another day in America. And more people will depend on Chevrolet than anyone else. What do you need to be the best? Starter. It's not that simple. It just doesn't happen. It takes a lot of work. Discipline, dedication. There's a lot of things that come into play. You have to push yourself. Day after day. 3,000 sit-ups. 30,000 shots. Fly balls are extra batting practice. And that's what it takes. To get better and better. <laughs> when you cross the finish line. It's a great feeling. Home play, yeah. that's it. A victory lap. It was such a dream. That was the ultimate. Starter. What do you need to be the best? Everything you got. It's up to you. Do you trust in the wet? A tire that removes over two gallons of water per second from under the tread. The all-season MX-4. Another engineering splash from Michelin. Michelin, because so much is riding on your tires. People say it's what's inside that counts. Well, people, I got a confession. Chance to make a first impression. Don't let flakes be the first thing people see. Head and Shoulders helps prevent flakes. Doesn't just rinse them away like regular shampoos. It's like no other shampoo in the world. You never get a second chance to make a first impression. They cross the line for love, but is there still a price to pay for breaking an old taboo? Love in black and white, an all-new 48 Hours Wednesday. 
Tim Ryan with Hall of Famer Ann Myers. We are in Ogden, Utah, on the campus of Weber State, Missouri, the top seed in the West, leading Wisconsin in a real scrappy battle, 72 to 63. Wisconsin with their freshman big man, Richard Griffith, on the bench in foul trouble as he has been much of the game. Somehow battling, scrapping, and hanging in. But Melvin Booker for the Missouri Tigers has been all-world 29 points to lead the way to the 72-63 lead. And the bench has been a big plus for the Tigers, where Stu Jackson's Badgers have really struggled their bench play. And they've had to use it quite a bit in this game. Melvin Booker. Ball up for Missouri. Crudup. Crudup banks it from the baseline. Seventy-four, sixty-three. Webster lobbing in for Peterson. Peterson underneath. Nice play. Big move by Peterson. Kudup was calling a travel. He's just got to keep playing defense. Jeff Peterson, senior from Mequon, Wisconsin. Six points for him. Kudup takes it outside. Now Booker trying to penetrate. Lenny. Missouri in the half-court game has really made Wisconsin play defense. By number three. Mark Corner Atkins. try by Winfield miss, but Atkins followed. 76-65. Galil Roberts. The lineup for Wisconsin. Webster hits for three. 15 points for Tracy Webster. 76-68. Missouri basically coming out has controlled the tempo of the game. They have shot the ball well from the floor. Atkins hits a three-pointer. Coming into this game, last four games, it shot 40% or less. It's a big difference in this game. Peterson won't go for him. Atkins rebounding for Missouri. Tigers really work hard on the boards, too, Tim. They try and get that ball. They, they maybe don't have the height advantage, but they've got a lot of big, strong bodies, and they go after that ball. Bruda. Showing some range, eight points. Javon Kruda will miss much of the first half in foul trouble. Timeout call by Wisconsin, 9-16 to play, 81-68 Missouri. The Women's Final Four, coming soon on CBS. With ITT Financial Resources, ITT's automotive division developed traction control, engineered advanced wiper systems, and pioneered anti-lock brakes. And we plan to invest $2.7 billion in the next five years to make cars even safer. If you never thought about who makes the parts in your car, maybe it's time you did. ITT. We're adding more than just our name. You know which motor oil can help keep your car running for 100, 200, 300,000 miles and more? It's the same brand that more top mechanics in America use in their own cars. Valvoline motor oil. People who know use Valvoline. <laughs> Love her, hold her, and remember our simple formula. At Dean Witter, we measure success one investor at a time. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing the world's one and only Remote Control Sliding Door. Available only on the Chevy Lumina minivan. It looks different because it is different. They speak it in England, France, and Germany. 
It sounds the same in the U.S. and Mexico as it does in Hong Kong and Tokyo. It's the international language of business. And wherever it's spoken, Delta Airlines can put you right in the middle of the conversation. And then we'll bring you back to that place where you don't have to say a word to be understood. Delta Airlines. You are watching the NCAA Basketball Championship on CBS. Well, uh, this is how it started for the state of Wisconsin this year. Best known for its cheese. What a year it's been in sports. The Badgers winning the Rose Bowl. The Packers in the playoffs. Dan Jansen wins the gold. Three teams in the tournament. One of them eliminated earlier today. Wisconsin Green Bay. Can some of that good winning magic still prevail for the Badgers here today against Missouri? 81 to 68. They're down by 13. Biggest lead of the game with 16 for Missouri. 8.56 to go. Some of the things that are going to have to make it work for the Badgers are, yes, you get the ball in Finley's hands, but he's not the only guy that can do it. They've, also, Wisconsin's got to try and go to the free throw line. Missouri has stopped fouling in the second half. You said there were 29 fouls in that first half, and Missouri has really stopped, and they've kind of controlled the tempo and backed off. Wisconsin has not gotten to the line like they were before. Also, they have to rebound. Finley at the line. He is a good free throw shooter. Finley in the first half, he had 4 of 11. 21 points, three three-pointers, really kept him in in the first half. Missouri is shooting at 65% from the field in this game. 10 of 15 from the field in this half. It's tough to beat a team like that when they're shooting the ball so well because there's not very many balls to rebound. Bruda fan, what a collision underneath the basket. He is fouled by Johnson. That's four on Grant Johnson. Nice pass by Melvin Booker, seeing Kruda ball by himself. Could have taken it to the hole, and Johnson not letting him come in. But it's a good foul by Johnson because a dunk can really ignite the team and the fans for Missouri, and that just kind of stops it. Grant Johnson has come in and done a pretty good job for Wisconsin, and he's had the flu the last couple of days, so maybe the energy hasn't always been there. Sean Griffith has come in for Johnson. He has four fouls, and as we pointed out, if you have joined us along the way, he had two in the first minute of play and sat out virtually out of the first half. Crudup connecting, 82 to 70, 83 make it. A 13-point lead again for Missouri. The press pays off. Missouri gets the ball right back. Turnovers, Wisconsin only had five in that first half, and that's a big turnover right there. Atkins. Well, Missouri losing to Nebraska in the tournament final. Struggling in the first round here. Looks like they've got their act back together. Remember, Kruda missed most of the first half in foul trouble. They barely missed it. That's a play by Hoskins. He doesn't really have a chance on making the shot, but he play, makes the smart move as far as creating the contact. Missouri, personal foul, number zero, Javon Kruda. His first personal foul. Well, the winner of this game will advance to the round of 16, and there they will take on the Syracuse Orangemen, who ousted the scrappy Wisconsin Green Bay entry. The number 12 C, that's some of that Wisconsin cheese behind you there, <laughs> behind those uh, brackets. And Wisconsin, the Badgers version, struggling here now against Missouri. They have battled and battled and battled, but they're down 86 to 70 with 8.20 to go. Marquette, the last remaining Wisconsin basketball team in the tournament, will play tomorrow. Wisconsin holds the lead with these two teams meeting, 6-3. to three. The last win was by Missouri back in 59, and Norm Stewart was the leading scorer with 26 points. Stewart has never coached against uh, Wisconsin, however. Missouri beats the press, and then he slows it down. Booker, two more. 31 points for Booker. His career high is 32 against Kansas earlier this year. He's been on fire. And Missouri's done a very good job keeping the ball out of Michael Finley's hands. He's really had to work hard offensively. 
Finley for three off the back of the rim, rebounded by Booker. And with Griffith coming back into the game, it might be a little bit too late for the Badgers as far as trying to get him involved in the offense. Atkins a three-pointer. He's got four three-pointers in this game. And 14 points in all. One of the several bench players who have really contributed. But it now appears to be a winning cause. 91 to 72. Good double team by Missouri. And also, they're pushing Richard Griffith out of position to get the ball. He had to pass it back out. That time was a good play by the Badgers coming right back at him. And Grimm will pick up the second person. Grimm picks up the foul, his third. Freshman from Morton, Illinois. He'll go out. Thames is in. Kelly Thames. Freshman from Jennings, Missouri. 91 to 72. Norm Stewart wants to get Frazier back in. Jaleel Roberts comes in for Wisconsin, number five. Roberts, a freshman from Jersey City, played at St. Anthony's High School, played there with Danny Hurley. Roderick Rhodes, outstanding Kentucky player. And this has got to be a real confidence booster right now for the Tigers, the way they're playing. They're playing like a number one seed. They haven't in the last few games. Roberts can't drain it. Molini rebounding. They've been playing solid defense. Everybody's been getting involved. They've gotten the ball inside. They're hitting their three-point shots. They're rebounding. They're just really playing a full game right now. Wisconsin personal foul, number 15, foul, Andy Kilbride. Picked up by Kilbride as Stu Jackson foul. looking on with concern, as one might expect, 91 to 72. But these Badgers, 11-0 start this year. Standing at 18 and 10 after an 8 and 10 mark in the Big Ten. At the free throw line is Thames. Done well. Get into this second round as the number nine seed taking on number one. Looks like they are simply outmanned. This Missouri team is showing plenty of strength on the bench. Thames missing the first of two. Tigers have won 17 of the last 18 games coming in here today. And that bench has played a role in every one, averaging 23 points. Kilbride, a three-pointer for Kilbride, 92 to 75. Back in 1976, Missouri made the Elite Eight under Norm Stewart in his first year coaching. He'd like to take him farther. Wisconsin maybe not having the energy right now, but they're going to have to keep their pressure defense up against Missouri. Missouri's got some awfully good ball handlers, though. Replacing Paul Olenny. Olenny goes out for Missouri. Winfield. Booker. Atkins. Thames. All in there now for the Tigers. Along with Lamont Frazier. Silver Shard Griffith trying to work and get position on the offensive boards and instead of going up with two hands, he goes up with one even though the ball comes back to the Badgers. Webster in the lane, kicks it out for Kilbride. Atkins rebounds a three-point try. Griffith, Roberts, Webster, Finley. Kilbride, the lineup for the Badgers. Motion offense for Missouri has really frustrated Wisconsin. They've had to play a lot of defense. Atkins off the back rim. Griffith rebounding. Finley drives the lane. His jumper is good, and he's fouled. Third 
31 points for Melvin Booker, 41, 46 points from the bench of Missouri. Looking very much like a number one seed this day against Wisconsin. Javon Kudapak into the lineup for Missouri. His fourth personal foul, the 16th foul, at the line is Michael Finley. Michael Finley, 32 points today. He's had to do most of the work scoring-wise for the Scrappy Badger team. Well, he had back-to-back -back games against Michigan, Michigan State, where he had 30 and 32. So he's the one guy that has kept the Badgers in it. And no foul call. Norm Stewart can't believe it. Tough try by Winfield, failed. Roberts in and out for three. But missed. And, that, and that's tough for Wisconsin. You come up with a big play, defensive play, and you don't come down and, and score, and then it goes right back to the your opposition. But Wisconsin's got to take advantage of those kind of plays in these last five minutes. Wisconsin stepping out of that end line. Missouri ball to put the trap on Booker, but he releases to Frazier. Frazier over the timeline, foul from behind by Finley. No, no foul. Ball knocked out of bounds, it'll be Missouri ball. 92 to 78. On the give and go. Frazier, number 22. Frazier. Picks up two, he has his first points of the game. And that's really a smooth play by the Tigers, Tim, coming out of the, off the sideline. Big shot by Webster, but still Missouri, they just look smooth as far as running their offense. Three point shot by Webster, 94 to 81. Check. Now Booker starts his drive and lost control of the ball. It's recovered by the Badgers. They've got a four on two. Webster pulls up and hits for three. 21 points for the senior guard, Tracy Webster. No quit in the Badgers. That's a career. They pull it back to 10 with 353 still to play. Motor Trend Magazine said my prism reminded them of the $30,000 import sedan class. Car and driver described my Geo Prism as lovely lines, Lexus refinement. An automobile magazine called my prism the new wonder of the automotive world. Before you buy your next car, call 1-800-GET-TO-KNOW and get to know Geo Prism. Road and Track said run, don't walk to your Geo dealer, so that's what I did. It's the dawn of a new generation. The new generation of clean gasoline. A breakthrough in technology from Texaco that can clean up over time what came before. An advanced system of engine cleaning in every octane grade for the highest performance, lower emissions, and improved mileage. Texaco introduces the gasoline that's changing what gasoline can do. New Clean System 3. Give us 60 days and watch what can happen. This is the award-winning Goodyear Aquatrack with its deep groove aqua channel. And this is the new Eagle Aquatrack for performance sedans. A wider performance tire with two aqua channels to sweep water away. Now you get the wet traction of a Goodyear Aquatrack and the performance of a Goodyear Eagle. One good turn deserves another. The new Eagle Aquatrack, only from Goodyear. We say the best tires in the world have Goodyear written all over them. Maybe it's because their frames are welded instead of bolted. Or because their decks are stamped from a single piece of steel. Or maybe it's the fact that they have the highest resale value in the industry. Oh, hey, I always wanted one of these. Thanks. But the truth is, when people are asked what kind of lawn tractor they'd like as a gift, 
almost say the same thing. He's tired of the crime. And when they come after his family... Then he'd kill us both! He's tired of playing by the rules. Steven Seagal, Mark for Death, Tuesday, contains some violent scenes. Tomorrow on the road to the Final Four, Bob Knight, John Chaney, and also some basketball players, Indiana and Temple. In Oklahoma City, look at that matchup. Oklahoma State and Tulsa. There'll be a little noise there tomorrow. You have to beat these Badgers with a club. They pulled it within 10. It's now 12 points again, 96 to 84. And Missouri is shooting 65% for the game, and all those shots have not been inside. Tracy Webster, the senior, don't go for him. Three Badgers surround Olenny, but he escapes. Come on, come on, come on. They'll call it on Wisconsin's Michael Finley. Is not the, they're going to call the foul the before way. there was a timeout call, but you see Olenny right there and Finley with the trap. He backs right into him, but he's calling timeout at the same time. At the free throw line for Missouri, number 23, Paul Olenny. Olenny off the bench has 17 points. He's three, at the line. Jason Johnson. Replacing Jaleel Roberts. Jason Johnson makes his first appearance for Stu Jackson's Badgers, a senior 6'3 guard from New Hope, Minnesota. Trying to bring some New Hope to the Badgers. 18 points for Olenny, who was suspended from the first game by his coach, Norm Stewart. Been a big contributor here. It's a walk-on this year. Help! Help! 98 to 84, 3.20 to go. Packers need some magic now. Hoskins. And the three-point shot from Jason Johnson missed. Griffith missed the layup, and he's fouled. Well, the thing is, the Badgers' last two possessions, they've missed easy shots, and even the first time, Griffith should have made that shot coming underneath. Crudup is fouled out. That is his fifth personal foul. Crudup. That is his seventh Missouri team. Griffith at the line, he has four fouls on him. Two big men, not a factor in this game because of their early foul problems. Ten points for Crudup. One rebound. Crudup coming out at halftime, hit three baskets in a row, all from the outside. Griffith only three points. Game against Cincinnati. Richard Griffith, 22 points, 15 rebounds. He's just going to have to learn to stay in the game. 98 to 85. Frazier, badgered by Kilbride. Overwatched by Johnson. Tigers have really taken a lot of time off the shot clock, but it's been to their advantage. They've really run their offense well. Down is five. And the travel called. He was calling for the push, Melvin Booker. Booker stalled for traveling. But even though the play stops, Thames hits the outside shot, and it just shows you how well the Tigers are shooting the basketball. It does not count, however. The score remaining 98 to 85 with 2.34 to go. Syracuse awaiting the winner in the round of 16. Right now, you would have to go with the top seeded Missouri Tigers. Finley rebounding the miss by Webster. Johnson off the front rim. Griffith rebounds that and puts it up. I tell you, that's going to be an interesting matchup with the guards. You got Lawrence Moten and Adrian Autry in the backcourt, and Melvin Booker at 6 2. But he's such a ball, good ball handler and a great three point shooter. It's going to be a good matchup. 98 to 87. Booker down the middle and gets two more. Now they 
field goal by number 13, Logan Booker. They do leave it to Booker. Danes was up there, but it was Booker who gets credit for it. 190. He's passed his career high points at 34. Wisconsin substitution number five, Jaleel Roberts. Roberts comes in for Wisconsin. Booker making 33 Roberts. points for Booker. 33, his previous high was 32. I think a lot of people have to look at this Missouri Tiger team after this game and be a little bit more cautious playing them. I, I don't think that you'd never take them for granted because of the way they have played the last couple games, but this game is really proving what kind of team effort they give. And they don't rely just on one guy, even though Melvin Booker is, is probably their top guy, scoring-wise, handling the ball. You've got so many other guys that contribute on this team. Foul called on Jaleel Roberts against Olinny. 190, a 10-point margin, 138 to go. The most points they scored this year was 108 against Illinois. That was in a double overtime game. Lenny will be at the line for Missouri. He's got 19 points in his bench effort. Played much of the game, actually. At the free throw line is Olenny. Had to be tough for him sitting out the first one on the bench, watching it under suspension by his coach, Norm Stewart. And he has certainly uh, come back to contribute heavily today. Well, I know a lot of Missouri fans are happy about the Tigers going to Sweet 16. 102 to 90 with 133 to go. Webster trying for three. That's off the mark. Frazier for Booker. Now Booker will take some more time off. Playing catch with Olinia in the backcourt. takes the foul. Wisconsin personal foul number 15, Andy Kilbride. On Kilbride the other half of this western personal bracket personal is down in uh, Sacramento, California, and tomorrow and you'll be seeing Minnesota and Louisville, the number three seed, a very dangerous team in this tournament. Virginia takes on number two, Arizona. That's the action from Sacramento tomorrow. That will complete the west region, and they will head into the round of 16, along with Syracuse and Missouri. They'll head down to L.A. in the sports arena. Olenny at the line now. Makes it 103. And advised by the official score that they have taken that basket away from Booker, the one that kind of zipped up and Thames apparently got a finger or a hand on it. So Booker has 31 for the game, one under his career high. I don't think that's going to bother him too much. I don't think so. Not the highest priority. Melvin Booker. I think the biggest confidence builder, too, is the fact that they shot the ball so well. Have they ever? Atkins connecting, 106 to 90. The score, Texas and Michigan battling in a tight one. Look at this, Wolverines by four, 127 to go. We'll be going there very shortly as we're in the final minute here. Finley's got his career high, 36. Wisconsin personal foul, number 24. Two more Missouri points will tie their high for the season and also would tie their highest ever NCAA result. Michael Finley and Melvin Booker are easy picks as Chevrolet players of the game. We congratulate them on their great efforts and Melvin Booker who did such a wide variety of things for his team today as Finley has for Wisconsin. 
Okay, we're going to leave you right now, take it away from Ogden, and go to Texas and Michigan. Texas down six just seconds ago, moved within three on a driving basket. And there's a minute 12 left in that game. We'll be getting you to the finish of Texas-Michigan, but let's go ahead and wrap things up now out west in Ogden.